What is up guys? I'm Uriel Soto and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to categorize your products. Now let me just minimize my screen here. Now if you're wondering how I built this uh, product landing page, I do have a video on this on my channel so make sure to check that out. Um, now the first thing that we're going to need to do is download a plugin. Now you're just going to need one plugin so Go to your dashboard and of course make sure that you have you know WooCommerce installed. Um, go to your plugins and then you're gonna want to install a plugin called WooLenter. It's right here. It's called WooLenter. Just search up WooLenter. Um, this is how it looks like. Okay, so now let's go ahead and um, categorize my products. But before I actually go and work on my home page or my shop page, um, you're gonna make sure that your product is set to any um, a category. So go to go to the products, and then I right now I just for this example I added three products um, each with with uh, different categories. So I'm gonna go into the first one, and I just added a category on this one. This one's category three. So just make sure you categorize your your uh, products. You can just click add new, add a category, and that's it. You know your category, for example can be uh, dog toys, right, or can be women's shoes, whatever it may be. Um, so just make sure you categorize your products. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and edit my page. Now, just for this example, I'm going to go ahead and add my uh, categorized products on my home page. But what you can do is you can just create a shop page and then edit your shop page with Elementor and then add that in. So just you probably don't want that one connected to the WooCommerce shop. You want this just to be a uh, just a default page. Um, so anyway, so let's say you want to list your products on the home page or on your shop, right? Um, so now that you have WooLenter installed, go ahead and add a section. I'm going to add it just for this example. I'm going to add it add it under here. Um, and I'm going to add my section. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to my widgets here and I'm going to search for, I'm just going to type in WL, that's all you got to type in. And it's basically all the WooLenter um, widgets. Um, so the one that I'm going to grab is this one right here, the Universal Product Layout. So I'm going to go and drag that in here. And now you're going to see that I have my three products. But I want to categorize each one. Right? This one this one's probably goes to you know category two, this one goes to category, um, category three or you know, whatever that may be. So, I'm going to go ahead and leave this layout to default. Now, you can have, you can categorize your products um, with a slider. You can have them just slide over, or if you're just going to list three of them, or if you're going to list a few of them, you know, then you can have it, you can have it um, just with your default. So, depending on how you want to do you can also do a tab as well. So, but tabs is a little bit different. You probably have to add each category. Um, like just like this and they can click on it, you know, and they can go to each category. But I'm not going to do it this way. I just, I, I want a section for each category, right? And if you're wondering where I'm looking over here, it's because my camera's over here and I have a habit of looking at my camera. Um, kind of weird. So anyway, so now that we have this here, we're just going to add, add our first category. So this is our first category. And I'm going to make sure that our layout is just set to default. Um, sorry, default right here. Okay. And the columns, I'm going to have about three columns, it's fine. Um, but if you set it to slider, you won't use the column, right? So just depending on whether, you know, you have a bunch of products. If you're going to have, a, you know, three columns of products of a certain category, then leave it like this. Uh, but I only have one product, so that's fine. So anyway, now that I have this category here, I'm going to go ahead and title this. You want to always title your category, right? So I'm going to call this um, Cata category I totally spelled that wrong category. okay so go ahead and have that I'm gonna call this uh, category one and I'm going to uh, capitalize this one Can't up the case there we go maybe I can add a little you know little space at the bottom uh, probably not a space sorry uh, library actually Divider, there we go. Just a little line. And I'm going to shift this to the side. You don't have to do this, it's really necessary, but 
picture style purposes. Okay, if you like this, well, you can do it on yours. Okay, um, so now we have that set. This is our first category. Um, so I need to get into my panel, but I have this blue um, sidebar here that you can't click on. So you don't have to do this. Um, Sorry, this email came up randomly. Um, so anyway, disregard this part right here. I'm just doing click on my panel here and it can pop up. So disregard that. Um, so I'm just gonna add some spacing up above. I'm gonna do about 50 up above and at the bottom 50 as well. Now, very easy here. Just right click your section, the blue bar here at the top, and then click duplicate. Now we're just going to go ahead and choose um, category. Actually, you know what? Let's style. Sorry, before this, let's just let's, let's style this one. So we don't have to go and style each, each one, right? Let's just style this real quick. So go into your, um, go into your uh, style here. I think you can do it within style. Oh, yeah, here it is. Style one, style two, right? So you can have that style. You can have this style or this one, right? So I'm going to put style one. Um, and then you can hide the price, hide the category. I'm going to go ahead and hide the category though. Um, so for the buttons, I'm going to choose this instead because you can actually see it, you know. Um, but just depending on what goes to your website, I'm going to choose this one. All right, now that I've styled that, it's all set, everything's good. Now I'm going to do the second section actually. There we go. Now this is going to be our second category. Now, of course, it's not going to be called the category for you, you know, whatever, maybe you women's shoes, toys, or whatever. And then head over to uh, uh, Quarry Settings, and then go ahead and choose a Category 2 or whatever your other category is, right? So you can tell it's a different product, not the same one. Now that we have that set up there, duplicate, and then same, same process, probably change the title, whatever that may be. And you're going to put that, and then I'm just really important, make sure you switch on um, your category, right? And it's all set now. And I'm going to just make sure it's mobile optimized. And if I can mobile optimize anything, that's fine. So this looks good. Obviously, more products will be added. And you can also adjust this accordingly as well. Your optimization. And then I'm going to go to Tablet. Tablet is where I'm probably going to have to adjust the title of these. So that's fine. That's fine. And the good part about this plug is it's already mobile optimized for you. So it's really cool. You can probably just adjust the title of your category, and that's it. I'm going to do the rest of them because um, kind of get the, the gist of it there. And then let's go ahead and just save this. And then just do this. All right, so now we have our categories all set. Of course, if I added more products to this category, I would have, you know, I would have an entire list of um, products here. But just for this example, I did it. So you can add it to your cart from here, you know. Um, and then you can go ahead and just, you can do the product as well. For me, um, my website is set a little bit differently. I have the default, you know, product page or whatever. I obviously you can stylize this. Find the video on that. Um, but you probably want to do this with Elementor for to stylize your product page. But anyway, it will go straight to the product where they can add it to their cart, you know. And the reason why when I click at the cart to do the checkout, just it's, it's only because that's how I set up my website whenever people buy now. Whenever they buy, sorry, whenever they buy this product, they go to the checkout. So that's why it's set like that. You won't have that issue um, so you should be all set um, so yeah I really hope you enjoyed the video I kind of got inspiration from this video because I think a few of you guys commented on how to uh, categorize your products um, so that's kind of the reason why this video is out so I really appreciate that feedback um, now if, if this video did help you guys out make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel because um, I do upload a lot of Elementor um, and WordPress videos. So if that's something that you're interested, make sure to uh, subscribe. So thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video.